Sheer driving pleasure or Freude am Fahren is in the core of our brand. The dynamics you feel driving a BMW is one of the key success factors which brought BMW in the position it is today. But talking about dynamics, which you could also describe as output, you also have to talk about input. Creating a maximum level of output, you still want to invest a controlled level of input. This is where efficiency comes into the picture. If you look it up in the dictionary, efficiency is the ratio of the useful work performed by a machine to the total energy expended. Now bringing these two bookends together, energy input and energy output for the maximum benefit of our customer has always been our goal. But in 2007, we moved our efforts to maximize efficiency and dynamics to a new level. The program BMW Efficient Dynamics was born. Looking at the total vehicle, every aspect of it is addressed by BMW Efficient Dynamics. Starting with aerodynamics. Obviously, a large part of energy consumed by the vehicle is consumed by simply fighting the air resistance. We are not only looking at the exterior shape of the vehicle, but at every single element which has influence on this. For example, the air running through the vehicle and around the wheels. In the past years, we have invested heavily in our wind tunnel infrastructure to further enhance our capabilities in this very important field. Looking at our currently aerodynamically most efficient model, the new BMW 3 Series sedan, we were able to realize a drag coefficient of only 0.23. Intelligent lightweight design marks another focus area of BMW efficient dynamics. With increasing standards of safety, vehicles growing in size and getting better equipped over the generations, this topic is gaining even more relevance over the years. The smart use of different lightweight yet robust materials have made it possible in recent years that vehicles have gotten lighter in later generations than in previous generations, despite a gain in size and content. Now next to aerodynamics and lightweight design, highly efficient drivetrain technologies play a vital role in BMW efficient dynamics. And talking about drivetrain technologies, we have a very clear plan for the future at BMW Group. We believe in the power of choice. And we believe that only technologies which are actually purchased and used by the customer can really have a positive impact in reducing emissions. And to be precise, highly efficient combustion engines, plug-in hybrids and pure battery electric vehicles are part of our portfolio, reflecting the different customer demands in every area in the world. Also, hydrogen as a source of energy is one of the options we are looking at. The BMW i Hydrogen Next we have presented at the 2019 Frankfurt Show gives you an idea of what a future BMW fuel cell electric vehicle could look like. Now for the near future, we have already communicated that by 2023 we will have brought 25 electrified models to the market. For our engineers, one thing is very clear. Efficient dynamics is an approach totally independent of the source of energy by which a BMW is powered. This means whether it is a modern combustion engine featuring 48 volt technology, a plug-in hybrid or pure battery electric vehicle, all the principles and measures mentioned apply. And rest assured, at BMW, we never are satisfied by the status quo. We keep searching for this next bit of efficiency that makes a BMW always the most efficient car in its class. Since 1995, we were able to reduce CO2 emissions by more than 42%. 
Since coordinating all our efforts in the BMW Efficient Dynamics Initiative in 2007, we have gained a lot of momentum in reducing CO2 across the whole fleet. For 2020, we have announced to reduce the number by 20% compared to the number in 2019. This will bring us in a position where we will ultimately meet the challenging rules and regulations in the European Union for 2020 and 2021. Most important for our customers, efficient dynamics means you can have both less emissions, lower fuel consumption and the joy of Freude am Fahren.